The Virgin Islands Montessori School and International Academy, with help from the Virgin Islands Energy Office, has gone a long way in 2010 toward its goal to become the model green school in the U.S. Virgin Islands. The St. Thomas School received a grant from the Energy Office that had enabled it to install its first 18 solar panels in March of this year and 13 more in April for a total system of 6 kilowatts. However, school officials are quick to point out that it has been going on the green path for years. In 2008, teacher Gloria Sakas had students working on solar and wind projects. I'm Gloria Zakers from Virgin Islands Montessori School and International Academy. I teach science here at our school. Last year we had a group of environmental science students that worked on an alternative energy project. That included using both solar and wind energy to prove that it's a feasible choice for us here in the Virgin Islands. As you can see, we have uh, produced an area where people can come and see a solar and wind energy demonstration. Now what you're, you're looking at right here is a sm small battery and water pump that is hooked up to solar panels that are on our roof that allow us to pump water from this blue barrel into the pump and over here to water our organic garden which is right over here. We believe in a clean secure environment for the future of the Virgin Islands. Hi, my name is Peggy Hunt and I'm the business director at VI Montessori School and International Academy. And I'm standing in front of one of our buildings and this is the building that has our six kilowatt solar system on it. This is the first solar installation that we've had on the campus and it was installed in March is when it first became operational of last year. Um, we actually got the solar panels through an energy outreach grant through the VI Energy Office. Thank them very much. And one of the things that makes this solar panel installation very unique is that we grab the data from the solar panels, how many kilowatts of energy have pr been produced in other pieces of data, real time from the solar panels, and that data is routed through a web box that puts graphs on our website. So on our school website, at any point in time, you can go and see how many, um, how many kilowatts of energy have been produced by Montessori's um, solar panels today. And that website address is www.vimsia.org. And V-I-M-S-I-A is Vimsia, which is VI Montessori School and International Academy. Marino Bali teaches physics at the school. When he came to the Virgin Islands this year, he brought with him a wealth of experience from being involved in major alternative energy projects in Pennsylvania and in Nevada. He was once Westinghouse Electric Senior Engineer for Advanced Energy. Now he's using that experience for the next school project at the Montessori. Students are presently making designs for a 10 kilowatt system the school will be installing at the beginning of next year. This project is also being funded by the Energy Office. And the school doesn't plan on stopping there. They're going after a Department of Agricultural grant for alternative energy. Peggy Hunt sees the day when Montessori school's WAPA bill is zero. <laughs>